Hello, I'm Herman Cain. They think we are stupid. On the one hand, you have the facts, which are devastating to the Obama re-election effort. The official unemployment rate remains an absurdly high 7.8% three years into a so-called recovery, while the real unemployment rate which includes those underemployed and those who have stopped looking for work, remains unchanged at 14.7%. Economic growth was only 1.3% in the second quarter and is unlikely to be much better in the third. We have another deficit that will soon come in well over $1 trillion. The national debt has topped $16 trillion. We have 23 million people unemployed and 46 million people on food stamps. These are facts. They add up to one unmistakable picture, which is that Barack Obama is a failed president. On the other hand, you have stories. Obama likes to tell stories and actually claims that his biggest failing as president is not telling enough of them. He tells a story about Mitt Romney proposing a $5 trillion tax cut for wealthy people only. He tells a story about Mitt Romney proposing to raise taxes on the middle class and raising Medicare premiums by $6,000 a month. He tells a story about the private sector doing fine and hiring only suffering among government workers. These are just stories because telling these stories has been so easy for Obama to do. He was completely unprepared for last week's debate because of the fact that Mitt Romney would stand up to his storytelling and throw one fact after another back at him. The image of Obama, head bowed, stammering, was priceless because it was the picture of a man who was finally being held to account for the truth and simply had nothing to offer in response. I'm Herman Cain.